Hey, it's Adam with Tech AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro, and today we're going to be talking about Black Restore. It is one of the effects inside of Video Effects. This will be a shorter video because it's just really more of an awareness video of how to use a simple but very effective effect. So sometimes you have two different kinds of like footage against a black background plane. So this is a footage that you see me use over and over again where I'm dropping some ice in a glass. And I actually worked really, really, really hard to film this against a black background and not actually get any glow. When you're filming things against black, black has variations of how black it will be. Uh, against the night sky is kind of some of the black blackest black you can be but really there's stars back here and stuff that the camera's not even picking up uh, so sometimes when you're recording things against a black background you might want it to be um, specifically extra dark black for example uh, if I wanted to put these fireworks over top of this uh, and let's say like a screen composite uh, you can see these fireworks do show up nice and prettily over the the glass there but um, sometimes it doesn't as clearly like uh see it when it kind of blooms the light blooms out it kind of changes the black value as it reflects against the camera and the lens flare and it leaves kind of its own emissions and the smoke and the smoke itself is glowing so the black's not really a true black all the time so sometimes you don't have as clear of a of a screen effect going on with the black restore what you can do is you can actually change uh, kind of the flat value of black so that way you can just drag and drop this on here and change the threshold of where it says how dark it's going to be to where it just crushes it to straight black and you can watch it kind of zoom in on the bloom here to a point where it just disappears now one of the limitations with this effect is uh, it, unless you have kind of a clear stark difference sometimes you will see uh, this kind of a pixelation effect as it's deciding per pixel on each value um, so keep that in mind this like so this one the whole sky is red in this shot right and so to reduce that back to black you'd really have to punch in almost all the way um, but then again if you look at uh, this video footage that actually does a lot of ch changing like if you look at the firework you can still see most of the fireworks so let's look at without versus with so this one on the other hand the black restore doesn't do too much of a change so you can kind of find a good spot like let's say let's say oh we've got to turn it back on sorry let's say let's look at there we go something like that kind of punch it out to there then we still kind of have the fireworks with uh, there is some um, blooming still involved but it's mostly the fireworks so then if we put this under over top of it and then use the screen effect again to where screen just kind of eliminates the black then the black is eliminated is much more clear and so you ha you can have the screen effect more clearly overlaying uh, without without less artifacting coming through it. So I put some more footage in here to play with. Um, sometimes what you do with the levels effect, let me actually type in the right thing here. Uh, you're when you're changing the contrast and stuff, you're doing something similar. So you can darken the darks and you know brighten the brights whatever uh, you're doing something similar and honestly you can almost make a mask out of that uh, but the thing is is sometimes when you're not doing it when you're doing it for a composite you really need it to be like you just need to know it's zeroed out to a hundred percent black uh, and we can learn more about composites in my compositing video so see that right there um, you can kind of use this in in tandem so let's go to the black restore put that after the levels and then now uh, now that I've got this this cut out to where all the shadowing stuff is now really in shadow. I've exaggerated that with my levels effect. Now with the black restore, I can jump that on it and um, really grab everything but my sky. So uh, in my sky effect, that's almost better right there. Um, let's see. Let's see if I can tease it out a little bit more. So I could put a little mask over that too if I needed to. But you can look at that. That's almost just masking out just the sky right there. And the Black Restore helps that uh, helps you just flatten out those 
values. So uh, now, um, if I wanted to put this over top of this uh, in the screen effect, you can see it works out quite nicely. Just it just leaves that nice silhouette in there. Lots of things you could do this. Uh, lots of things you could do with that. Uh, it just gives you the val. It gives you more exact. <laughs> very odd there um, but see that look at that the way it cuts it out um, the leaf pattern in there right like you could use this to create patterns and things that are very unique and distinct and different uh, than with other other values now ignore that right there like I said if I was actually using this I would mask that out manually um, just gives you lots and lots of options so uh, there you go there's black restore it exists that's why uh, short one for you I got I'm gonna have a few short ones over the next couple weeks um, because there's an exciting announcement that pro 19 is coming out and I'm busy preparing for that so thanks for watching like this video helped you out subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one especially review on Vegas pro 19 if you're confused about anything to do with movie studio please check out my Vegas movie studios dead video because it clarifies a lot of things going on with the change in the movie studio environment and movie studio 18 versus 17 so thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time